What's going on everyone? Bit Savage here, back with another beautiful video about yes, E3 and beyond. Uh I'm very excited and ready for all the games that were there. I'm not even, you know, a hardcore regular gamer. I'm a crypto gamer. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, I test out a lot of crypto and blockchain games right now. Very, very excited and bullish about that uh technology and what's to come. But I got to attend E3 thanks to, you know, all of the I won't say the engine community, the blockchain community, um, just being in the space for the past two, almost three years now. And leading up to my first time attending E3, shouts out to Engine, got to meet up with Benjamin and uh, Andy and a few other people there at E3, and it was incredible. So I just want to give you, you know, a quick rundown of what I'm thinking. Um, I shout out to eGamers, you know, got to do an interview with Meltoid is coming out soon, or it might be already out. Uh, and oh yeah, I'm going to do a QR drop this coming up week. Um, so let me just get everything out to you. So E3, there was incredible, incredible games. I'm on the Twitter page right now. Incredible games, incredible announcements, incredible interviews, incredible demonstrations. This is how you want to do a conference when you when you're bringing technology into place. Uh, you want to demonstrate. So all shouts out to all the crypto conferences and events I want to say add demonstrations this is what you need you need demonstrations of blockchain crypto uh, use cases if you have an incredible platform a credible team show different use cases of what you can do with your technology all right so e3 Let's scroll down here you see Fortnite. yeah they had a huge booth they probably spent a million dollars these booths were incredible um it was like full-on concerts at the major booths uh and a very good experience you know for the players for the gamers you had a bunch of e so i want to talk about esports a little bit too yes you can make a living off of esports playing games can you do that in blockchain possibly when the games are ready now, I will say that there needs to be a league formed in crypto esports. Uh, there's a few games that's almost ready, so who's going to do that? I may do it. <laughs> you know, just start up a crypto esports. Now, Elon Musk was in the building. I don't know if I found out after he left or someone said, Yeah, I just got a hat signed by Elon Musk. I'm going to go sell on eBay. It's like, cool. You know, Elon's, he's got a car, he's got a game in his car. You can use a Tesla steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel and race and Tesla. It's a game in the car. Uh, so I'm just, oh, the Unreal Garden. So there's a big uh, shift or there's a big acceptance of VR and AR, virtual reality and augmented reality. And obviously in that space, we're still new. So no one knows what's going to be the standard. Well, it looks like the body suits, you know, the haptic body suits, the VR headsets they're, they're still big uh but you they they cannot be as bulky you know they want to be sleek want to be sexy my partner over at uh integrated gaming feature card you know definitely want to have some slots to play and bet against players it's just uh, we're moving in a good space a good direction so you don't there may be glasses there may be uh headsets body feedback haptic body feedback it's going to evolve and morph and there's some leaders that's coming out in the space for AR and VR. Oculus is definitely has a wide store open. They don't know who's going to be the lead runner. So, uh, yeah, Nintendo had a huge presence there. They're like, yeah, we're bringing back this. We're doing this, doing that. Sega Genesis doing some cool things. Yeah, I'm just scrolling right now, just kind of recap and refreshing my memories. Um, so a little bit more about, you know, Engine and even other projects I'm with in crypto. So like engine, you can mint tokens, you can mint items, use them in a the multiverse. Uh, if you're new, if you're in the E3 space and you're new to blockchain or crypto uh, arena, let me explain a little bit for you. So you can look up engine yourself, you know, check out what engines into now engine coin and engine crypto. They've created a multiverse to where you can have these game items playable in all the games that allow them to be playable. So right now, I think about 20 to 30 games accepted these multiverse items. So I can go get a sword to this game and use it in 20 other games. That's, for, that's good for gaming. It's good for business, too. 
if you have a coupon at one business and you can use it at 30 other businesses it's incredible so it's a good concept it's a good foundation a lot of people can adopt this you know concept and you know so engine is doing good on that part and it'll, it'll definitely be great to expand say okay you're starting an engine but let's start working together you know let's start bringing minds together build this mastermind you know you don't want to be a, a central position just locking all the power uh, so oh also Rovit you know Rovit they have a platform for creators and the audience to get rewarded in their token and they're creating NFTs and they have a cool idea for a game as well so they're they're rolling out in stages and they're gonna partner with a gaming company so we'll see you know more on that pretty soon but they're doing things behind the scenes to make the experience as good as possible make sure each phase is completed and really be able to gamify uh, content and entertainment and Silicon Nexus is another project that I got interest introduced to a while ago and they're building I saw an amazing demo uh, so some cool things coming so for me I'm like you know, it's almost like a hurry up and wait you know you're building the technology it's like this is incredible stuff let's start demonstrating it so for me I'm looking to curate a monthly event you know or quarterly event here in LA definitely want to go virtual invite people out and do giveaways do uh, competitions get that eSport popping so it may be called the dream state we'll see um, and the more so for me I'm actually going to mint my experience I'm going to mint the uh, NF I'm going to mint a few story cards from my experience at E3 and I got I got to stand in line and get two autograph posters you know physical NFTs or physical fungible items non fungible items and those posters I'm going to mint them into a story card and make them digital and I have physical and just show the use case you know you demonstrate the use case of non fungible tokens uh, digital assets di digital items and my whole goal for everyone to see clearly envision and embody that yes you have your physical items but you can build up an inventory of digital items you know if, say if you have 10,000 digital items game items crypt art and I got my art I got a lot of art <laughs> I got your crypt art you got business cards you got coupons tickets you could sell them you know just say okay I want to sell all of this in my wallet and wake up to some good uh, some good income uh, selling and the cool thing about digital products you just keep them online you don't you don't need a warehouse you don't need an Amazon warehouse an eBay warehouse or whatever all right so back to e3 monologuing a little bit uh, there was a ton of stuff happening so I, I couldn't get to it all I went the first day went to the West Hall it was overwhelming uh, Tuesday went a little bit then Wednesday went to the South Hall still a lot and there was still more going on you know there was let me see if we can scroll down here oh cyberpunk let me so here's the thing I've played a lot of cool games in my time and there's even better games coming out uh, when you see things like cyberpunk you got Keanu Reeves as the the key to immortality 2077 uh, Mario's doing some incredible things watch dogs outer worlds daylight dying light 2 uh, these games they're just you know they're they're raising the bar you know they're they're doing some incredible stuff Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and so these these are games these are I call them regular games <laughs> well these are games where you can fun you buy them to be entertained and that's what people do I still see people playing Candy Crush and they spend money on Candy Crush because guess what it's entertainment people will pay ten twenty dollars to see a movie be entertained play a game uh, FIFA 20 oh the FIFA incredible look at this halo infinite so that, that that's the realization you know when you get into crypto and blockchain realize people want to pay to be entertained they want to play to have fun uh, so don't focus too much on investment and, and all this you know money driven just motivation just invest or focus on entertainment so okay people want to be entertained they want to see the graphics they want to get the reward the rewards the trophies uh, and then you know build from there so uh, I, I want to become a gamer again right now looking at these games <laughs> I want to be a gamer right now here is the event schedules live streams games this let me just scroll down and show you this 
This is the press conference. It's Ubisoft. I'll be back to that in one second. Google, Bungie, Microsoft, PC, Nintendo Direct. So as you see, it went from Thursday, June 6th to Tuesday, June 11th. A week of press and just conferences and news. It was a lot. It's a lot to take in. Um, see, let's go back to Twitter. What's this? That's mine. And let's go to, let me see, Ubisoft. So you got Ubi E3, Ubi, Ubi, Ubi. And I heard, I heard Ubisoft is developing and working on blockchain implementation. And some people were trying to get interviews there. They were trying to find out, but they couldn't, they're under NDA. They couldn't talk. So we can't share too much right now. I think even Atari and some of the other games, they are looking into blockchain or they have their blockchain. They're building it and they, they don't want to go public just yet until everything gets sorted out or the gray areas get cleared out. You know, whatever, whatever needs to happen. Uh, let me see. Ubisoft play for free now. They had a huge presence, a huge booth at Ubisoft. So definitely, if you want to see more about, let me go to my page. If you want to see more about E3, definitely go online to Twitter. I said get back on Twitter if you're not on Twitter. Rove it and chill. Scale, cool, crypto, mat, where we at? Here we go. So the Coliseum had the gaming awards. Tesla, he was out there giving speeches, signing, kissing babies, shaking hands. Uh, oh, child, I got some swag. Got like hats and stuff. And I got like some bang energy, some bang socks and some bang stuff. Um, and this bang could possibly be the sports drink for the Crypto Esports League. We'll see. Because uh, I, I believe Monster Energy Drink is the one, the main one for the main uh, esports. But Bang Energy, they were out there throwing a party. They're incredible. It's an incredible group of people at Bang. And the there's a philosophy behind their energy energy drink I had one and it was cool you know it it was i want to say better than red bull and monster but uh no promotion there <laughs> i'm just you know just saying from what i tasted and what i experienced it was cool um got to hang out with a few aliens there's my page what else oh yeah we're going vr with voxels that's coming up um arena match and you got the pass so that was my experience that's my update uh, there's more coming like I know a lot of people when they get older they say oh, stop playing games but guess what your whole life is a game your whole life is this place so act you know you're playing games all the time you love being rewarded you love you know competing and leveling up it's human nature you might as well have fun make some money or try it out don't limit yourself you know don't don't lose that inner child so that's my update for E3. And like I said, so I want to do, I got some swag. I got physical stuff, but like I said, the digital, I'm going to do that digital giveaway. It's easier for me to do a digital giveaway. They get, you know, postal addresses, got to ship and mail, got to go to the post office. I'll do that, but I want to do this digital giveaway. It's called a QR drop. So if you're new to the space, I would say I'm going to leave my telegram link below. Join the telegram room. Um, I'm also going to leave my Rovit link below. So I'm going to know if you use my links for Rovit because I can see who comes under the account. I'll see you join. Say what's up if you join. If you're new to the Telegram, say what's up. And there's going to be a QR drop Monday. That's it. So yeah, Monday, 11-11. On say, on say. Uh, PST, Pacific Time. I'm here in California. So join the room. I'm going to do a little bit more promoting for this QR drop so everyone gets a fair chance. Not that many items. And that's a cool thing for digital items. You can limit how many there are. So not that many items. Get in there. Say hi. Put some gifts, some diffs, piffs, some stickers. And uh, enjoy the ride. Welcome to the crypto space. Welcome to blockchain. We're going to be doing some crypto esports very soon. All right now. Peace.